Greetings and salutations, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. It's going to be a short episode, and then I'm going to take a long break. Uh, sorry. Well, I did spend some money on yarn this week. I had to. You know I did. No, I didn't. I just had a project of mine. I've been wanting to do the snowflake cart, um, afghan that some of my friends have done for quite some- My hair is a freaking mess. Oh my lord. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I got this yarn for it. Oh, you can't see the sparkles. The sparkles are the important part. See? Now you can mostly see the sparkles. But it's really cute and it's really soft. So this will be the snowflake of my afghan. Ooh, sorry. Didn't mean to hit you. And then I think I picked a little bit too dark, but I like it anyway. Oh, you can tell. Anyway, it's just a cheap purchase for the snowflake afghan that is in the Christmas 2008 issue of Crochet Today. So they had a lot of nice things in there. So I bought the yarn for the afghan. I'll probably work on it during the stash dash that is from January 1st at midnight <laughs> to April 15th which is apparently the New Jersey Garden State Yarn Walk. So, I don't think I'm going to do the yarn walk, we'll see. But, one thing I have been doing, I'm trying to get rid of all the things in progress that I've got, and that's, pretty, um, that's a pretty monumental task. Have I even introduced myself? I'm sorry. You know who I am, but I like to introduce myself like everybody else does. Jeannie. Or you can call me JD, I respond to both, and that's it. <laughs> so, yes, welcome to Twisted Strands. Thank you so much for joining me. Sorry for babbling, I'm trying to fit it all before I have to leave for Knit Club. <laughs> I look like a mad woman with this hair, I'm sorry. Uh, Cleo's coming in. I wonder if I can make her do a cameo again. Anyway, I finished the second bobbin of the singles that I'm using for suck yarn. I already put the third bobbin on the wheel and I will work on that. I have mixed feelings about how thin the yarn I'm going to get seeing as it's going to be a three ply. but. They have patterns for worsted weight socks, and I'm sure I can make it work somehow. So anyway, I was really happy to finish that yesterday. That's what I was doing, and I have witnesses. So, <laughs> I, my one cat's stealing my bed, and the other one is howling to be let out, because he likes to be outside. Oh Jesus, I hope I didn't just pull that or something. Eh. Anyway, Abby Grasso is the yarn and I'm using her basic watermelon sock pattern. And this is the second sock. So ta-da! I worked on that during lunch. All right, it's been really slow at work, forgive me. I'm sure you can. And I have a hoe. That's about it. <laughs> I finished half a sock. It's for the lovely Bridget, who hasn't been on the show because she's been busy working. But yay, sock. I don't know if you can hear him, but Frisky is howling to be let out. Naughty boy. And not have I not only have I been working on this whip that I want to finish by Christmas. I'll let you know how that goes. Bridget's pretty damn forgiving. Plus I got her something else too. So we'll see what happens. I'm trying not to freak out and 
just hurt myself by accident. By accident. Seriously. <laughs> but I want to do all the things before January 1st, and I gotta realize I can't. So, anyway, I've got the yarn for the afghan. I'm going to do the Lala Simple Shawl. It's really pretty. She uses bulky, but I'm going to use uh, Noro for it. And I'm going to cast on at midnight with my knitting friends. And that'll be for our stash stash. You don't have to join me, but you can. The group I'm doing it with is on Ravelry and it's called the 20 and 30 somethings Stitch and Bitch and no you don't have to be 20 or 30 something and you don't have to be in New Jersey although the core members are all in my area or in Warren County so <laughs> there there they are that's the group I hang with a lot because they are awesome we went to Lion Brand. I bought some a gift for Bridget for her baby blanket project. Some plain white yarn because I was indecisive, and I think that's it. Oh, jingle bells! I was planning on putting something like jingle bells in a project for the kitty who, yeah, she's now adding her fur and dander and saliva to my bed sheets, so I sneezing cough. Hey Cleo! Yeah, that got her attention. <laughs> so, basically, I'm just trying to work on things instead of casting on for new. And it's taking a lot of control. <laughs> the only thing that I really do want to start is some ornaments for an ornament party in my other knitting group. That I kind of skipped last night, but hey. Anyway. Whew. So I've been spinning. I've been knitting. I haven't woven anything, but I will as soon as January 1st comes around so that I can use up as much yarn as possible. I... Yeah. It's nice to spin again. I, real I took a... I'm taking a craftsy class. You know I've heard talked about them before they really helped me with my weaving and I took the second bit of info about weaving and now I picked up the plying class and I'm not sure what to think about the plying class. It's had some good information but not something you would need if you've done plying more than a few times. I did pick up on something where she says to always, you know, to not just let the ply enter the yarn haphazardly, you know, you pit, do the pinch pull for, no, pinch and release, let it go up, let your hand go up to the orifice and do that over and over again so you're, that your plying is even and I think I will have to try that trick. That is something, excuse my itchy nose. As you can see there's a cat in the room and I'm not that good at cleaning. So anyway, that's it and time is running out and I just want to say happy Hanukkah to my Jewish friends. Shalom. And Merry Christmas and I'm going to be skipping a week so you might not see me until the last week of September ah, September hello I'll try to do a show before the end of the year but I'm not gonna make any guarantees but I think it'll be fine and uh, that's it so Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Yule, and I love you all. Thank you for keeping my community of bravelers and viewers going while I was dealing with my mother's passing and all that. And I appreciate all of you understanding. There goes a counter. <laughs> and 
Thank you for not laughing too much at my hair today. No, no, no. That's... Oh, it's bad. It's bad. I need a haircut. <laughs> anyway, thank you for sticking with me. And uh, I hope you like the show enough if you're new that you keep watching. I know there's a lot of video podcasts out there with a lot of very talented people. And, you know, thank you for watching me and my little show. And I appreciate it so much. We want the best for all of you. And myself, of course. I'm not a masochist. <laughs> But anyway, I will talk it to you, not next week, but hopefully the week following. And enjoy the holidays. Spend time with family if they don't drive you nuts. And if they do, spend time with those you love. Anyway, and cherish them. So that's it, really. I'm sorry, I was going to review a magazine and all that, but really I'm pressed for time here and usually it's my fault but anyway it happens so that's it for this week hopefully not the year I think I'll have some time to fit you in again rub rub Ugh. <laughs> um, and that's it and never forget whenever you do crafting from the most delicate of shawls to a, an ashtray made out of play-doh you're still making the world a more beautiful place and for that I thank you happy holidays everybody nah.